Hey, hi, Garber Squad. Foxy here with a new video. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to build Chow. So some of you guys who watched the 1v3 Chow video, you guys all, com all put in the comment that you want to see how to build Chow. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check it out right here. Um, before I get into this video, I do want to say if you want to support the channel, all you got to do is drop a like, subscribe, and a comment if you want to help my videos and help me reach my goal as a content creator to reach um, my, my subscriber goal this year. Anyways, Let's get into this video and we'll talk about how to build Chow. Let's begin with the rune build for Chow. I'm going to start with RTA and then going more into the Guild War where it's more predominant. So this is the chow, stats of my Chow here and there's a big problem with my Chow. And if you can't see it right now, it is the resistance. I have 54% resistance. Why? Because I have a Endure set. So number one, don't build it on endure so the rune type you want to build it on for beginner players you probably don't have a bond set so you're probably gonna go for something like swift blade or uh, i wouldn't recommend fatal blade because like a, right here he's an hp based monster so ideally you look for the swift for more speed that way you can write hp crit damage hp speed um crit damage attack slash hp for example so the sets I would rune it for beginner, like I said, is going to be the Swift Blade. Um, if you have Nemesis runes, even better for late game players, you're going to be running on Violent Nemesis. It works really well with its passive, with the healing as well. Kind of like a Garo in that regard, but if you don't have Nemesis runes, Blade is also an option to get more stats, more crit rate, more damage. Okay, so let's just talk about my art, my build right now and why I built it this way. This is the RTA build. So in RTA, if you don't know already, as the timer goes down, HP is worth less because there's a percentage going down 10%, 20%, etc. cetera. And because it's an HP based unit, you're either running it on a HP slot six or two, for example, you are gonna be worth less over the game. So what a lot of people don't realize is justice scales with number of dead allies so typically people draft chow in rta against a super heavy fire team and they last big chow to counter them there's not a real place in rta at the highest level for chow because why pick chow as a fire counter when you have this unit he exists and also he exists so that's why you don't see chow used that often and even when you do you will notice I actually have a lot of speed for Chow. I wouldn't recommend you put this speed for Guild War, but for RTA, you actually need to have turns. And in order to have turns, you're going to be running a slot to speed here. So if this was a Nemesis, fantastic, but it isn't. So, so anyways, my 246 is speed, crit damage, and attack. So like I was saying before, when Chow is the last unit on the field and and he's like 1v3, 1v2, his justice is gonna be scaling a lot. And like I said before, people don't typically target the Chow first because he's not an immediate threat. The Thor is, for example, or a Triadus protecting something, or the Daphnis. He's not the immediate threat, so that's why it's viable to put a slot six attack to scare, like it's gonna be like a random super damage heavy threat with one justice out of nowhere when he gets a turn. So you'll notice I also have 85 crit rate, um well 86 but 85 because you always want to crit on fire so that's uh, some more, all my damage dealers i always try to aim at least 85 crit rate unless you're running like a 300 speed cleave which is a totally different conversation here but you'll also notice that my defense isn't that high but i do have some defense reason being in rta defense is worth more as late game comes because hp is worth less so your effective hp is lower and you need more defense your defense never the defense stats never erode because of how rta works so that's why i do have some defense on him as well i have no accuracy because accuracy is a wasted stat i really don't care for the dot on dragon's might so accuracy in my opinion and resistance wasted stats here and what you want to be focusing on is the crit rate, crit damage, speed, and then HP, and then an attack. The attack is not a super crazy um, thing because if you look at it, even his, like this is an attack type monster, 845. This is an HP type, 681. Your attack percentage is going to be worth a lot less compared to crit damage. So keep that in mind when you're ruining your chow. Your crit damage is going to be worth more than attack, but you do need a balance between the both to do optimal damage. And let's move on to more of the Guild War build. In the Guild War build, and when you do 3v3 um, in Siege, Guild War, 
Guild Wars Siege is more about sustain damage, landing defense breaks, not so much about trying to sleep them, turn cycle, blah, blah, blah. Um, you're looking for like threats. You're looking for things that have sustained that can live out what they output onto you. And Chow does that pretty well because of his flow passive and because of how much damage he can output with justice. So if you're building this for a more RT, um, Guild Wars um, team, what you want to do is want to build it similar to Camilla. So this is my Camilla and I can easily just go and take her runes, slap them onto the Chow, and this is what it will look like. I got 88 speed. I would run Chow, depending on your rank, roughly around the 60 to 80, 90 speed range, 100 speed range, really depending where you're ranked. G3, Fighter 1, right? It's going to really be dependent on what you do here. So you'll notice that I almost have no wasted resistance stats because of um, <laughs> my endurance that's gone. I'm on a nemesis set, as you can tell. My HP is really, really high. 29k. Do you need that much? Honestly, no. But I would probably, if you're running it against something like a Wind Panda, if you don't, if you run out Renas, for example, or like Reteshes, for example, Chow would still do a good job because he's HP scaling with Justice. However, the another build that you can run is like Speed, Crit Damage, and Attack. Let me just quickly change it by doing something like this. So now you'll see I actually have a lot of Attack. Um, and HP, but I don't have the crit rate portion. And that way makes it difficult. If you can't run a Nemesis set, you need to have a Blade set. And that's where I would get my crit rate back. So um, to give you an idea from the runes here, take a look. Obviously they're on a little bit of the better side on my Camilla, but definitely some wasted stats like this. The accuracy is wasted, no defense gem there. The attack percent a little bit wasted for Chow. Because like I said before, he's not an attack scaling unit here. So if you're building this for Guild War, I would suggest you try to run for at least 85 crit rate, around the 150 crit damage, 140, maybe 130 for the lower end on crit damage mark. Roughly anywhere from 60 to 80 bonus speed, and then as much HP as possible with some attack to scale with it. So that's how my Chow is built. He's super, super good in Guild War. Um, great one for you three siege unit. So that is how to build Chow. So let me know if this helped you and let me know what monster you want to see next. Just leave a comment below and let me know in the next video. So to cap off the video, I'm going to try to show a damage test to you. I'm going to try to see how much my Chow can justice force just so you can see it here. Uh, so I put in full immunity here. I don't think he's going to strip me just because he's fire. I'm gonna go for the reset just to showcase my my team here. Oh no, my galleon! No. Well, we'll test it without galleon. Here is a single justice with just attack buff onto the Vanessa here. How much damage do we do? 14k. No, what? No defense break. So let's try it again with defense break, and that way we can see how much damage we do. I'm not really trying to win this. I'm just trying to showcase uh, how much damage he does with it on the test. So let's try it again. Defense break onto this. Defense break. I'm trying to defense break the Vanessa. And then we can do a lot of damage right here. Okay. Onto the Vanessa. Defense broken. How much can my Chow do here? Uh, we'll just kill you off here. Okay. Okay. We are good. How much damage right here? No bomb prop. Okay. Right here, we do 34k, and he's pretty speedy. In like an RTA, if you get that setup, usually that's a one shot here. In RTA, if you get if you get that defense break attack buff setup, which normally you don't, and that's why you need high speed. So that's the damage from the Chow. So let me just show you the stats of the Chow one more time from every slot, just so you see it. Wait, why did I quit? Wait, I just lost my points. Why did I quit? Oh my goodness. Anyways, okay. Boom, boom. And I will show you the runes on my Camilla, just so you have, you can see the one, like once the slots. Uh, dang it, why did I quit? I just lost my thing. <laughs> and the reason why I'm showing at the end of the video is as well, because you guys probably skipped the end. So hopefully this helped you. And make sure you like, subscribe and comment to support the channel and look forward to the next video. Foxy out.